point is how to start history preparation. One way is that you join us with us. Other way is that you collect the study material from the market that I will just discuss with you. You understand the syllabus. So after collecting the material, you understand the syllabus. Then practice previous year question papers. Hello civil service aspirants, welcome to Plutus IS. Today I am going to solve one of your doubt that is whether you should choose history as an optional subject or not. Let me make you clear that history is not only important and it is a scoring subject for history optional but it is going to help you in the preparation of prelims examination as well along with GS paper 1 examination and also the UPSC interview panel may expect you to answer some of the good points from the freedom struggle and other parts of historical art and culture topic okay we will discuss which type of questions have been asked in prelims gs paper one and the history optional examination in this short video i am going to take you that what are the different syllabus how to approach history which book we should refer for understanding total history these all doubts i will clear in this short video be bear with us for 15 to 20 minutes and you will get to solve all of your doubts okay so my name is dr jitan kumar i am here faculty of history at plotus is before that i have taught at the university for four two years as assistant professor my qualification is that i have completed my graduation and post graduation in history from the university and masters of philosophy and phd in history from jawaharlal Nehru university okay let me tell you that how to approach history, why history is important, why history is not important, what is the perceptions about history, should we choose history or should we not choose history, what is the benefits, what is not benefit and what is the pros and what is cons. Let us understand this one then we will discuss labors. What is the pros of history, why we should choose history as an optional subject, the most important idea is that you will find that we have the ample study material is available in the history. In the other subjects, you will very find that material is not good available. But in history, thousands of books are available. So ample study material is available on the history. But if you target selected book, there are best books in the market. Suppose if there is ancient India, medieval India, modern India, post-independent world history, art and culture. If you target one selected book, if you read all these books from all these topics, you are able to cover history as your option subjects. So we have ample study material. This is the one point that we should choose history. Second, there are direct questions have been asked in the history. For example, if the 1857 movement is there, more than five to seven questions have been asked on the 1857 examination. Let's say Alauddin Khilji, more than 10 questions have been asked on the Alauddin Khilji for the last 30 years I am talking about. Let, let us take an example of Russian Revolution. In the paper two, more than 10 questions have been asked in the last but here in the Russian Revolution paper. Okay, so there are there are many topics in which direct questions have been asked. So it is very it is very easy for the student to understand the question and answer this one. Thirdly, we have the overlapping with the GS one. As I told you, this is overlapping with the GS paper one. Anna, at least five to six questions have been asked in GS paper one. If you prepare history optional, you will be able to cover that also. This is important. Then we have the most important for the prelims. In the prelims examination, about 15 to 20 questions out of 100 questions, out of 100 questions have been asked from history examination. And in this, the most important part is art and culture. So art and culture of history, art and culture portion of history along with freedom struggle okay so if you prepare art and culture plus freedom struggle so it will cover the most of the part of the prelims examination also and apart from this is a very scoring subject this is a very scoring subject it is true that history is a lengthy subject but if you prepare if you give at least two hour for class for the five month and then two hour revision at home so if we give four hour for the next five months, you will be able to cover very nicely 
all the important facts, historical debate, important analysis of all the historical events, including ancient, medieval, modern, post-independent, and world history. All the things will be completed within five to six months is a simple target. So if we give only four hours at home or two hours at home and two hours at the institution, then you will be able to cover history as a very good subject for your foundation. But there is a cons also. There is a vast syllabus. By, but let me tell you, the vast syllabus is not a cons because in the five months, you will be able to cover all the syllabus of history. The, then we have interpretive nature. And history mostly is an interpretive nature. For example, one question was asked related to comparison between Chinese and the Russian Revolution. So this is a comparative study, analytical. One question was asked, asked that 1857. Suppose that one question was that that the the revolt of 1857 was more than Scipio mutiny, but less than national war of independence. Here we have to compare. It is a comparative study. It is an interpretive study. One question was there about Ashoka. Ashoka's state was how? The what is Dhamma? Okay. Then other question. Suppose the question is about the nature of the national movement. That how did Gandhi? Change nature and the quality of national movement. So these are the questions have been asked in the examination. So what do we come to know from this perspective that history is a interpretative subject? Okay. So these are the things we know. And then the third is the points is the writing skills. That you should have a good writing skill in scoring good marks in the history. But let me tell you, these are the three points. But if you give five month, four hour, and good writing practice. And here at the institute, we help you in the writing process. Practice, you will be able to come out of all these cons. So you can utilize your cons into the process. Okay. So history is very important. So do not go on the cons because if you score well, if you do well in the writing skills, you will be able to score more and more good and good marks in the history optional examination. Okay. This is one pattern that we know. Now let me tell you about. What is the examiner expectations in the history optional examination? You should have a depth knowledge that you can you can get it within five months. The clear and concise writing, you should your writing should be structured and coherent. Okay, it's you should use all the irrelevant facts in the examination. Whenever you analyze the question, the relevant facts should be mentioned in your writing. Okay. Then understanding of historical sources and relevance of the questions. And what is your expectation? Your expectation is that you should qualify your optional examination and you should appear for the interview. And after that, main option that you should score good marks and then you should be selected for the interview. Interview panel please select. Oh, these are the main things. Now, point is how to start history preparation. One way is that you join us with us. Other way is that you collect the study material from the market that I will just discuss with you. You understand the syllabus. So after collecting the material, you understand the syllabus. Then practice previous year question paper. See which type of questions have been asked. Right? Then read, analyze, and the notes. Right? Read, read this book, analyze the book, and make the notes as per your writing. And focus on the time management. That you should not keep more than four hour. And then five month within that time you will be able to cover history optional examination because you have to give attention to the other GS paper and prelims paper also apart from reading newspaper and on a daily basis. So we should have a good time management so that we can cover within one year you can prepare very nicely for a UPSC examination. Develop conceptually understanding, enhance your writing skills, and then the revision is the most important key behind the preparation. Okay, if you see this. Why history is important? You can see this data. In this data, what do you find that how the history had been important in the prelims examination? You see, in 2013, the 15 questions had been asked from history. 14 questions, 17, and then in 2021, 21 questions were there in the prelims examination. In 2023, it is 13 questions only, but this is the The last one in the next year it may increase. Okay, so on an average basis, what we have seen that at least at least fifteen to seventeen questions have been asked in the prelims examination. If we talk about GS paper one, okay, in case of GS paper one, what do you find? In two thousand eighteen, five questions, nineteen three questions, twenty five questions, twenty one five questions, twenty two six questions. These are the patterns of the questions have been asked in the UPSC. GS paper one examination from the history. Okay, now let us understand that what is the syllabus, and then what are the type of questions that that is being asked in the uh, history optional examination. So when we discuss about the syllabus, 
of the history optional examination let us discuss here that we divide the history optional into two paper so there are two paper in the history optional examination the paper one this is paper one and then other is a paper two okay student paper one and paper two paper one is about ancient and medieval india paper one is ancient and medieval indian history this is paper one for us ancient and medieval indian history is the paper one okay then what do you find the paper two is modern indian history plus world history oh yeah especially the modern world history this is paper 2 so we divide paper 2 we divide the total paper of the history optional into two part the part the one is a paper 1 one, one is a other is a paper 2 okay in this two paper what do you find this is of 250 marks okay and other is also of the 250 marks this paper is also of 250 marks apart from this 250 marks what do you find that on a robust basis there are eight questions have been asked in the each, each paper eight main questions have been asked in each of the paper okay eight questions have been asked is of the paper out of these eight questions we are expected to do five questions ha na we are expected to do five questions in each of the five question there will be separate about 20 to 20 questions ha na the each questions some questions has some part has three questions some part has five questions Okay, so in this eight part, eight questions, there are uh, suppose in one question there will be three sub questions. In some question there will be some five sub questions. Okay, so on an average basis, what do you find? That you will find that there are about twenty questions have been asked in the examination in that three hour. So all of this paper are consisting of how many hour? We discuss about time. Time to write each paper is three hour. Plus three hour. This is the timeline of your history optional examination. Okay, in Saint India, you will learn this. In Saint India, it means it is starting from the beginning to the time of the seventh century, eighth century AD. Then from eighth century AD, seven fifty AD to seven fifty, seventeen fifty AD will be the medieval India. Then world history, modern India will start from seventeen fifty onward to till the present time, especially the Nehru time, nineteen sixty four. That comes here. Then world history starts especially from The from the time of the 18th century modern world, 18th century, 17th century, and this will come up to the 20th century. This is a major syllabus of history optional examination. Okay, so we have seen the syllabus. In this class syllabus, let us see that which are the book we should refer. Now let us discuss about the book we should refer. There are the ample study material for this for topic. Okay, in this ample study material, what do you find? One such book that we should refer is R. S. Sharma. in saint india then we have satish chandra medieval india bipin chandra modern india and then we have normal law norman law world history these are the four books are the basic book to refer for the history optional examination or the history prelims examination okay apart from it these are the different sections of the book hai na this is a pyq this is a prelims pyq this is a the book of the rajiv ahir of the spectrum this is the ancient and the medieval india these are the other sections of the book that you especially you can refer to understand the history optional examination apart from it these are the other books okay but what we have done at the institution i have prepared a set of book and along with the ppt if you read one of these book whatever book i am telling you if you read one of this book or solve pyq 
or if you read the plutus is notes prepared by me dr jitendra kumar you will be able to cover all the questions which are asked in the examination so there are only two things if you discuss and if you understand two things properly that is the the notes prepared by his history optional paper especially by me and the institute along with the ppts that provided to you in the class and dictation method you will cover all the syllabus of the history optional examination this is a book of mine this is a medieval indian history this book is prepared by me this is modern indian history post independent indian history and the world history and then ancient india so these are the types of the notes which are provided by the plutus i institutions if we cover all of these notes you do not have to read any other material this book along with the ppt are so concise that it is going to help you in solve any of the questions for example let me tell you some of the questions and i will see the types of notes if you see these types of notes what do you find here is the types of notes you can have a look at these notes this is a world history preparing me the, from the world history this is the chapter 1 uh, if this is one chapter related to russian revolution okay so if you, you can see this one this is a russian revolution chapter this is a type of notes prepared by our institutions that what is russian revolution what is the background what is the socio economic environment okay what is the different different definitions and then within the tests within the book why do you find that there are the question answer discussion also there are question answer and answer discussions also in this topic you can see that the bold knight leling have been dispute the fear of the maiden revolution from all evil explorer crazy everyone lived happily here after the coming uh, so find is that this is a statement given by leling and how to answer this statement here is the explanation of this book in the notes only one question is that In the Russia, Lenin was the father of socialism, organizer of the revolution, and the founder of the new Russian society. Examine the statement. So here is the the main of the bullet points are written along with the little explanation. So these are the explanations of the PIQ are integrated into the notes only that helps a student to to grasp more understanding on the topic. These are the uh, example. the comparative analysis of revolutions is tarah se notes mein bane hui hai theek hai so through this way you can understand what is the purpose demand and the understanding is required for the history optional preparation these things are going to help you at every perspective let me tell you uh, some of the questions okay if you see this one these are the questions that have been repeatedly asked on the russian revolution you can see a town see the questions on the russian revolution asked in the history optional examination a town for the overthrow of the tsar regime in the russia what is the clauses they are asking the russian revolution of 1917 was a single revolution which developed two phases phases matlab it was in the february and then other was in the october so february and october there are different phases of the russian revolution so they are asking questions on that these all things are discussed in detail examine the clauses of the russian revolution of 1917 and indicate the significance in the world history russian revolution was an economic explosion hastened by the stupidities of the autocratic government analyze the clauses of the russian revolution of 1917 they are asking clauses why was the second revolution significant significant than the first one this question and this questions are to be similar okay so these are the types of questions have been asked in the history optional examination and the notes will be enough to understand all of these questions okay so if you have any doubt related to other further preparation uh, feel free to comment on the youtube channel you can also contact our uh, institution's helpline number and you can get in touch with me i will solve any of the doubt available with you okay you can ask my management team uh, to talk to me and you can talk to me you can mail me also you can write me also if you have any doubt and i will address your doubt my name is uh, my email id is the jitendra uh, plutus is at the rate gmail.com you can comment here in the channel also i will happily uh, responding to your any doubts present in the youtube comment section apart from it i want to tell you that history is a really good subject hai na as you must have heard about history that history is a very tough subject aisa nahi hai if you give proper time if you have a proper time management if you give four hour hai na at least at home for the next five month you will cover all the important topic debates analysis facts stories of history including in the indian history and the 
world history it is really a good subject it will help you throughout your life how will it help you to your life do you know suppose if you become an ias officer ips or ifs officer hai na the history will take you everywhere suppose if you have to take any decision you can learn from many incidents that what is happening so history is always a repeated subject jaise koi dangla ho raha hai to hame pata hona chahiye ki dangla kyon ho raha hai if you go into the background of history we will find that oh this is the problem this is the causes then you can solve that how people have solved in the previous past hai na aap usko solve kar sakte hain kisi planning mein isko use kar sakte hain so history is very nice subject okay student so we'll see you soon and uh, aap log hamare institute se juriye and we will help you in your journey of the upsc history optional preparation okay student uh, thank you so much for watching this video thank you so much